Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thank you for joining me I'm Katie and we've got a brand new Upcrate unboxing video for you today so Upcrate is a pretty new art subscription box on the scene and we are on box number two if you want to know what was in box number one check out the playlist I will leave a link somewhere in here when I get to the PC but for now enjoy box number two so in this month we have Graphmaster alcohol based ink marker ink graphic marker and that's 12 pack and the packaging on that is gorgeous and we have how many colors do we have oh 12 and that's in set c and we've also been given five additional colors with skin tones warm grays and blacks and i'm going to be swatching them right now as you see before your very eyes what else is included is the sakura micron pigma and that's in 05 the pentel hybrid gel grip k118 the stabilo othello pencil in 3h a coat and or i don't know if i'm saying that right eraser 300 slash 60 and upcrate marker paper and it's a 75 gsm thin paper and it's one-sided i'd say that's a damn good haul if you ask me and I know we've just done Inktober and I've whinged and whinged and whinged or I'm currently doing Inktober, depends on when I publish this but look, just look at the markers they are so nice and the colours are gorgeous and this, this is a good box look how many markers you get I think for about five pound, four or five pounds more than a scroller box and you get all of this there is lots to work with here. There's lots of pieces of paper to work with here. It is great. The featured artist this month is called Scribbles and you saw that flash up at the start. Make sure you check out their social media and it'll be Scribbles on Instagram. Really like the pitch we got. We got lots of stickers, which is always good. And we got these little pumpkin cutouts as well as a 3D pumpkin sticker. And if you've been watching my Inktober, I'm kind of digging that right now, the 3D stuff. Anyway, let's get back to the toys. So the mark pens themselves are really nice and juicy. They are they, literally, you only had to think of the color and it was on that paper. They are good. They seem like they're gonna last me a long time. The barrels were quite nice and comfortable to hold lots of thumbs up here i've not heard of graph master before but i actually think i'm probably gonna en end up investing in some more because there has been a lot of marker death during inktober and they will need replacing soon anyway the white gel pen pretty good actually i'd say that's up there with the uniball ones so that gets a thumbs up from me the pencil was a 3h and yeah that did a job i didn't really want massively dark lines for this and any that were too much erased very nicely with the eraser provided now for me personally i don't use mark paper and it's just a personal preference i actually think as a material it's really good but i like having thick paper to draw on because i am very very heavy-handed and i've had times in the past and this is with any mark paper really and i've just gone through it don't ask me how it just sort of happens and i prefer to use bristol board i think it doesn't quite hold the ink as nicely as mark paper but that's just a preference really the stuff we got with the box is fine and <laughs> can't grumble really we got quite a few sheets to work with so plenty of room for mistakes unlike other subscription boxes anyway let's not talk about that so the theme for the upcrate battle was spooky times ahead so obviously i wanted to do something spooky and the color palette to me was suggesting pumpkins now i didn't want to just do a jack-o-lantern because I don't think I'm very good at drawing them, if I be honest. And I wanted to draw a character. And I just wanted to draw what I wanted to draw. I've just done Inktober. 
So I went for a witch and I am giving her a bit of a story. So she's not your regular kind of witch, but she's pretty cool in the circle of witches and everyone around her. She's just a bit different. She's got very red hair, which isn't that different. But instead of having a band around her witch's hat, she's got pumpkins. I mean, this girl's got a strong neck. And her hat's all crooked. Well, again, I guess that's not so different. But she embraces her red hair and she embraces her obsession with pumpkins. And this just seemed like the way to go with this. Now, applying all of the ink was really good. I think I had to really let it dry a bit though I was getting a bit too enthusiastic with the markers and because they're quite juicy as well I think I was perhaps flooding the paper a little so this this was done in two stages anyway so after leaving it overnight and coming back to it the next day the ink held beautifully I think I just needed to let it dry and yeah the colors are great it's just so vibrant and look how flat they've gone down I was just so happy this is a brilliant box and I must sound biased, but I'm not. But I did actually support these guys on Kickstarter. I am so glad I did. I mean, yeah, we're, okay, we're only two boxes in, but I haven't been disappointed yet. You just get so much good value stuff. It's an affordable box. Really check it out. I'll leave a link to their site in my description. Please check it out if you're thinking of joining the art subscription world this box really is worth it and it's nice to have one based in Europe because here in the UK you'll just get taxed like a beast if we import any from the USA so it kind of puts us off a little bit really and we've only had the one subscription box but now we've got two they're based in Europe so I might not get it as quickly as Europe but at least I don't have to spend a fortune on shipping and I don't know, I'm just going on a bit here, but I, I love this box. Just look at them colours. Anyway, the pumpkins were really nice. Again, the colours that came in just suited what we did. I did mixed faces on there. And I'm going to say this witch carves them herself every day. And she has new pumpkins on. She doesn't put candles in them though, because that would be silly. And... As I'm sure you've seen, she has a familiar, which I haven't coloured in yet. And to go with the colour scheme that she's particularly fond of, I wanted her to have a ginger cat, a ginger tomcat, or a marmalade cat, or whatever one you want to call it. This just seemed absolutely perfect. She's not going for the typical black cat, she wants a ginger cat, and he just sits there on her hat as she's moving around, going about her daily business. And yeah, I, I absolutely loved this drawing. I really enjoyed doing it. It's just a bit whimsical. It's a bit spooky because it's Halloween. And yeah, I've just really enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments box which subscription boxes you guys do. I know you, you're all from various parts of the world, so it'd be really nice to see which ones you go for and which ones are your favourite. And let me know as well if you've also subscribed to Upcrate and... Let me know how what you thought of it as well. Are you as smitten with it as I am? I absolutely love the purple that came in this as well. And I decided to do two coats, but I'd, I'd given it a good 24 hours before going in for that second one. So it had that really nice flatness about it, which I quite like with marker pens. And it just sets a really nice twilight scene. And it makes all of the orange and red hues really pop out. Now, I decided to just strengthen the outline on things with the Sakuras and just make the marks a little bit thicker and a little bit more defined. With the ink being in a, with the ink and the Sakuras being a little bit different to mark pens, the black's just that little bit deeper, so it really makes things stand out. And even areas where I'd used the black marker, it just added that additional bit of definition, which I just wanted to make things pop out a little bit more and it just adds a bit more form perhaps to the cat and allows the eye to see where the colours end and other colours start if that makes sense to you guys and just to add a final pop I decided to outline 
my witchy friend here and just add a few highlights here and there just so it didn't look too flat and I am really impressed with this white gel pen I think that's quite a nice alternative if you can't get your hands on the Sakura jelly rolls or the Uniball ones these work just as well quite quite happy nice comfortable to hold as well which is good went on the paper nicely didn't really get much of the color beneath it coming through it's all good and i use this to add some stars into the background as well because you know it's halloween she's out trick-or-treating with a cat nobody nobody knows she's actually a real witch either she just think they just all think she's a bit eccentric i don't know i'm just trying to add some character to her this is kind of the thought process i was having whilst drawing it but again that white pen is brilliant i just can't say enough good things about this box i really can't i'm not sponsored or affiliated by them by the way just in case you were wondering i'm just really passionate about, about getting good materials especially when sometimes i've not had materials I've been particularly pleased with this has been a breath of fresh air and I can tell the guys and girls at Upcrate are just as passionate about what goes into the box I do believe that the Graph Master Company is also associated with Upcrate which is nice I suppose it's a bit of promotion there with those guys but that works out quite nice because you know they, they believe in the product enough to put it in there Anyway, just a quick roundup of what we had. So we had some nice postcards and stickers. We had a hand, well, they wrote my name by hand at the start, which is always a nice touch. We've got the post-it note, lots of lovely stickers. Yeah, it's just, it's just nice. It's just nice opening a box and having all these goodies in there. Again, don't forget to check out the featured artist scribbles and what else did we get we got the micron the gel pen the pencil the eraser and the paper oh and the cute little additional stickers and pumpkins this box is awesome if you're gonna go for a art subscription box i know we're only on number two but i really recommend this really do anyway again let me know what your thoughts are on this and i might do another video a bit of like a beyond the box one we'll see now i've got a bit more free time now inktober's gone i might be able to start doing that again i've probably got a few to catch up on if i'll be honest with you anyway thank you for watching i really hope you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit that like button if you have don't forget to hit subscribe and if you really feel like it share this video out if you are up for the upgrade because I am and I want the whole world to know how ace upgrade is so yeah anyway I will see you on the next video this is brilliant I don't have to say I'll see you tomorrow anymore because of inktober I can I can do my own stuff yippee anyway I'll see you soon guys bye